Okay, so let's use this um, result to derive a formula for ideal diffuse BRDF. Okay, so what is ideal diffuse BRDF? It's a surface or it's a BRDF that reflects light equally in all possible directions. So it has no selectivity for incoming or outgoing direction. So for an ideal diffuse BRDF, we say F WI WO is equal to C, constant. Okay. And let's say there is no absorption. Okay. So everything that's the, the light that's received is emitted. Then using this previous uh, energy conservation equation, we can say the BRDF F times, uh, what did we say? Uh, cos theta O dWO is going to be equal to 1. Okay. So we are uh, talking about all the incoming light is being uh, reflected. There is no absorption. Now, so replacing this with C. Okay. Let's clear this. Let's put C here. This is equal to 1. So from here we are going to find C. This integral, like that, is we are integrating over the hemisphere. Okay? Upper hemisphere. To actually evaluate this, we cannot really evaluate it in this form. We will convert it to theta phi representation. Okay? So theta from 0 to pi over 2 and phi from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so we are going to say C times cos theta dW. Now, what is dW? dW is the solid angle. So if we actually Im imagine our sphere here, okay, so let's draw our, uh, sorry, I will draw it, I think it's better to draw it like that. So first let me draw this piece here okay and then let me draw this piece here okay now here let's say we have this and we have something like that okay so here this angle uh, as you know like rotating around like this this one is the phi direction okay so this is actually this part is dw so it is this is now, this is like a rectangle, right? Uh, when you think of in differential units. So this is d phi, okay? Now, and this part here, this part is d theta. d theta, okay? It's kind of like a small rectangle. Now, the area here is uh, defined as the solid angle. And it's actually the multiplication of d phi this length times this length, d phi times d theta gives dw. But you can see that actually, as you go towards the, from the equator towards the North Pole, these angles, these areas shrink. Okay, so this is smaller, this is smaller, this is even smaller. And as you go towards the North Pole, it's going to become like zero. Okay, so actually the solid angle, this dw, is defined as follows. It's defined as d theta, d phi, but there is a reduction factor. And this reduction factor is proportional to sin theta. Okay? So sin theta, uh, sin, uh, think about it, sin 90 degrees, sin 90 is 1. So at the equator, this is the maximum value. Okay? Now, uh, sin Zero, on the other hand, sin zero, uh, okay, so this is like the equator, uh, 90 degrees. Sin zero, uh, so we are measuring the angle with respect to this axis. We are measuring theta with respect to this axis, right? Sin zero means you are here, okay? So you have shrunk to a single point. So this will uh, do the, the, that scaling proportionally. So actually, for dW, we write d theta, or let me reorder these things, cos theta, sin theta, okay, d theta, d phi. So this is our uh, new integral, and we say this is equal to 1, okay? Now, if you actually compute this integral, now, if you compute this integral, 
if we didn't have the cosine term here, if we didn't have the cosine term, this was going to evaluate to 2 pi. Uh, so if you, like, for a second, let's clean these terms, okay? So this formula is actually the area, the surface area uh, of a hemisphere. And we know that it should be equal to 2 pi. Okay? Now, when you put back the cos theta here and C here, this is going to give you, uh, like, uh, this integral is easy to compute, but I don't want to do the derivation here. Okay? But what, is, uh, what this is going to give you is that it's going to give 1 times C times pi. So the presence of the cos theta term, the presence of the cos theta term will make this result go from 2 pi to pi. Okay, it kind of makes sense, right? Because cos theta uh, has a value from 1 to 0, and uh, it will, uh, on average, uh, divide your result by 2. You can think of it intuitively, okay? So from here, from here, but please do this integral, okay? Please, uh, I think to do this integral, you call, like you say, sin theta, uh, you call it u, okay? And then uh, by u substitution, you continue and do, do the, uh, the steps, okay? But for us, what is important is that c is 1 over pi, okay? So this is the result that we want to achieve. This is known as an ideal diffuse BRDF, okay? So uh, we will be using this uh, to model uh, BRDF. We will be using the diffuse part and the specular part. And for the diffuse part, we'll be mostly using this result. Okay? Ideal diffuse BRDF.